And then we'll answer that phone until 2 o'clock in the morning, and then we'll be available again starting at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. All right, well, we're just about ready to make the switch. But first, some of the people who spent time in your living room during WGHP's 45-year broadcast history. Take a look. of great talent has passed through here at WGHP. Retired engineer Raymond Kinney started working for WGHP back in 1965. He used to be the one of the people to sign the station on the air and off the air before we went to 24-hour broadcasting several years ago. It's, it's a lot of technical stuff, it, you know, and I mean, it's really a good picture, a lot more quality and all than it used to be. And things have really changed. I mean, it's like daylight and dark, you know. But uh, I'm glad they got it because I've got a digital set at home and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> And in mm. the spirit of this momentous occasion tonight, Raymond Kinney is with us tonight out at the old transmitter as we get set to make history. And Fox 8 engineer Charlie Leno is at the new transmitter. He will hit the switch to power up the DTV transmitter. First, though, in the tradition of sign-offs of the past, this is Fox 8 WGHP-TV, High Point, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, ending analog broadcasting. Now, our national anthem. That old slate there. Now, Julie, you may not even be remembering uh, old enough to remember when we saw that every night at midnight or one, and mm -hmm. we were showing nothing except a test pattern until six or seven in the morning. All right, here's the time for the big switch. We have our retired engineer, Raymond Kinney. He is now going to be turning off the analog, and we see Charlie Lane, our engineer. Called. Oh.
That old slate there. Now, Julie, you may not even be remembering uh, old enough to remember when we saw that every night at midnight or one, and mm -hmm. we were showing nothing except a test pattern until six or seven in the morning. All right, here's the time for the big switch. We have our retired engineer, Raymond Kinney. He is now going to be turning off the analog, and we see Charlie Lena, our engineer, about to turn on the digital signal. Here we go. There's and I one. understand Charlie was telling me that we are one of the last stations in the state to actually be transitioning to all digital TV, that Raleigh did it earlier today uh -huh. in Charlotte as well. So a very big uh, day save here the in the best for last. Yeah, you saw that was you saw just snow in that one TV on the lower right, and that's because that analog signal it was showing. Kaput, gone, done, never to be seen from again. <laughs> a lot of people actually wonder why we're switching mm -hmm. from all from analog to all digital. It's because we're freeing up some of the um, bandwidth, bandwidth as they call for, it. for first responders so they can be able to communicate more freely. This really came out of the 9-11 uh, thing. They wanted a better way for them to be able to communicate, and now they have it. We've given up that spot. We're digital. Thanks yes, for being Fox with 8, us. Totally digital right now. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Whenever I see the news and they're, uh, they're hauling in some criminal, terrorist, psycho, maniac, mass murderer guy, you notice he's always covering up his face with the newspaper, with the jacket, with the hat. What is he worried about? What, I mean, what is this man's reputation that he has to worry about this kind of exposure damaging his good name? I mean... <laughs> I mean, what is, what is he, up for a big job promotion down at the office or something? I'm afraid the boss is going to catch this on TV and go, isn't that Johnson from sales? He's up in that clock tower picking people off one by one. I don't know if that's the kind of man we want heading up that new branch office.